Hello, welcome back to the JoJo series and in this video we are going to be making stand storage. But first let's create the GUI. So first let's create a screen GUI. Name this to stand storage. You create a, a button. Text button. Um, position this however you want. Name this to button. Button. Name this to button. Create a scrolling frame. There we go. Create three text buttons. One, three. Position this however you want. Oops. Here, here, here. We name this to storage frame something all right now let me make the GUI look good there we go this is what my GUI looks like this is named storage frame and is R3 button for the stand slots this stand storage button is to activate this um, storage frame so let me disable the visibility let's create a folder for the scripts GUI handlers Let's create a local script. Local script. I'll frame open hand or something like that. Let's reference the folder script.parent. Let's reference the screen GUI folder.parent. And then the button, the button, screen GUI.button. Now button, there is a, an event called dot activated. So whenever the player presses the button, and function. Now let's create a new variable for the storage frame. The storage frame equals fold no screen GUI dot storage frame. If storage frame dot visible equals false, or just if it's visible. Then to so set visible to false, else storage frame but visible equals true. So that's our button handler. If it's on, then it's going to turn off. It's if it's off, it's going to turn on. Let's see if this works. All right, this works. Now let's create a new script. I'll name this to this button handler let's copy this storage button handler paste this we don't need the button so let's remove this now we could do something like this for i button in i pair so it's sorted normal pairs isn't sorted it's unsorted but i pairs is sorted so this goes here 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 instead of random storage frame get children wait this looks off f should be small low case and same can go here so that it looks good you don't need to do this i just don't like my script looking bad okay now we set the text of the text button but first let's create a random color for each button um, color 3 from RGB math.random let's do 70 to 55 paste this okay so this is how we're going to do things Let's go to stand data store. Here we'll be creating new attributes. Slot one. Right? Slot one, slot two, and slot three. So we'll be doing that. And let's create a new function for saving data because right now it repeats the same code and when your code repeats then you need to create a function for it 
so let's do data save or save data put in the player here copy this oops delete okay save data so we just put in save data player and save data player We'll get into this later. Okay, so here we'll actually create a table for the data. Saved data table. And it will have three index stand, which is player, get attribute stand, and slot one, player, get attribute slot one slot 2 player get attribute slot 2 slot 3 player get attribute slot 3 and this saves the table instead of the attribute save data saved data there we go oh it's i misspelled it it's data not date data there we go all right now so now what this does is it creates a new table instead of saving a single attribute like player get attribute stand it saves a table which has stand slot one slot two and slot three so now we instead of doing data with the data stand data slot one data slot two slot three slot one slot two Slot 3. There we go. Now let's test out the data. Okay. Here's my player. Let's create stand. Start plan. Slot 1. Monkey Supreme. We leave. Data successfully saved. And we should still have attributes so that means the data save works there we go it works so now in the storage button handler we set the button text color uh, text color 3 text Color 3 equals color. And let's create a new variable for the player button dot text text player get attribute slot and concatenate concatenated with the index. So if this I mean the iteration. So if this is the first iteration, it will get slot one. If this is the second iteration, it will get slot 2. And if this is the third iteration, it will get slot 3. The problem is it runs first. It runs faster than the script gets the data. So you need to wait one second. To let the script handle the data and stuff. Or maybe two seconds. Oh no, let's wait two seconds. Alright. This might be a problem when your player has really high ping though, so yeah. Now let's do button.activated. Connect function. So when the button gets acti activated, you want to switch with the current stand. And let's do two things, just in case the attribute is nil. Because it can't set a text to nil, it can only set the text to string. Okay. So we want to set the button dot text equals um, the stand that it received received stand. So we need to create a new remote function, not a remote event, but a remote function. So what a remote function does is that um, it waits for the script for the server script to return a value. 
Meaning is to storage remote. String storage remote invoke server. It's not fire server, but invoke server. Invoke server. So this waits for the server to return a value. Now let's go to the server script. Stand storage handler. Now we do remote dot on server invoke, not connect function, because this essentially waits for this function to finish for this to finish. So this is actually just a variable. Okay. Now if I return true, then button dot text will be true. If I return hello then the text will be hello so what this does is it calls this function and so it gets a value and once it gets a value or if the value is nil it's going to return it back to the local script so it's basically waiting for the function to finish and then what it, if it returns nothing or it returns something then it's still going to um, fire it to the client okay there's the player And let's fire the slot, which is the I. I let's first fire the slot. Okay. Let's do. Let's create a fun a variable. Local current stand. Player get attribute stand. Local. Um, saved stand, which is the stand in the slot player get attribute slot concatenated with the slot. So let's check and let's check if the player if the stand is inside of the player so that we can remove it. Because let's say I want to switch out my star platinum to nil, but it's not going to remove the star platinum, so it's going to be weird. Okay, so we're going to check. If the stand is inside of the character, then we destroy it. And then we set the stand to the saved stand. Let's do two string. Just in case it's nil, player set attribute um, slot i to string. Oops, it's supposed to be slot. To string current stand. And then we return. the current stand there we go let's see if this works let me check the attributes as well check the standard storage it's monkey supreme the slot one is monkey supreme and our stand is star platinum right we click monkey supreme see slot one is star platinum and stand is monkey supreme now we sell monkey supreme oh but it doesn't oh but it doesn't remove the aura so we need to actually unsummon the stand by calling the remote, by calling the module. I mean, my bad. Module. Um, game. Dot serve storage. Dot stand skills. Find first child. Find first child current stand. If the module exists, 
kan and then do this if there's a stand inside of the player then we need to unsummon it module.q player.character now the aura should be gone because we unsummon the stand now right let's summon this oops q is not oh i haven't required it module if it has a module script if the module script exists then it's going to require that module script it's quite simple it's not a complicated click on this it's on summoning not start planum let's click on this it's nil I pressing and press oops there's nil is not a valid member okay oh it sets stand to nil so I think instead of setting it to string, we're not going to set it to, to string, we're going to set it to the raw data. So because if it's nil it's just going to remove it and that's what you want. Okay. We're just going to save it to the raw data. Because we want it to be actually removed. And now we just get rid of this delete this and now this should work okay get my key. let's do if current stand copy this paste it here paste it here paste uh, put in the local move this cut this paste it here so it checks if the current stand isn't nil, if it exists, then it's going to require the module. There we go. It should work now. Okay, let me get my star planum. I'm in Monkey Supreme and it works. Alright, this is it for this video. Thank you and I will see you next time. Goodbye.